Uh, Brown to get a uh, bucket on Brown right now? Yeah, he can get a bucket on no Brown way. right nope. now. Nope. Yeah, he can get a bucket. No way. Nope. Man, he, man, come on. That little dude explosive, bro. He is, but you Brown. seen his dad? His dad on that balcony, yeah, he he on that new juice. He sliding like he used to. Kevin Garnett went viral after he claimed LeBron James was taking performance-enhancing drugs. Whether he was actually trying to expose LeBron or just making a simple joke, in this video, we are going to cover all the evidence surrounding LeBron James and performance-enhancing drugs. We aren't making any accusations or claiming that LeBron is taking any PEDs. The point of this video is to present all the evidence and let the viewers decide for themselves what they believe. Let's get started. The very first evidence to come out regarding LeBron James and PEDs had to do with a 2013 Biogenesis lab leak that exposed many MLB players that were taking HGH, causing multiple suspensions. In that leak, they found that a man with the last name Paul would come in for business for a client that had the initials LJ. One of the employees specifically said that her and her co-workers were positive that it was for LeBron James, his agent of course being Rich Paul. There was also physical evidence on LeBron James and Dwayne Wade, including jawline growth, hair loss, and cramping. ESPN journalist Brian Windhorst even wrote an article saying that he witnessed LeBron James gain 7 pounds of muscle during an NBA playoff game. After LeBron stepped on the scale before and after the game, apparently his teammates were in disbelief and he just shrugged it off and said, that's weird as hell. After the article was published, many physicians and nutritionists came out and said either Brian was lying, mistaken, or the scale that LeBron used was broken, but there's no way he put on 7 pounds during an NBA game. Other than those reports, no other evidence would come out for the rest of LeBron's time in Miami. That brings us to 2014, when LeBron James returned to Cleveland. Before his first season, LeBron James lost a substantial amount of weight, and didn't even look like the same player in the beginning of that season. LeBron would then take two weeks off in the middle of the season and take a trip to Miami to rejuvenate. When LeBron came back, he was looking like his old self physically and athletically. Analysts like Max Kellerman would begin to question how LeBron was able to transform that quickly. I don't care how you take care of your body, or rather, one of the ways you take care of your body. The fact that LeBron James has taken very few games off this season, not like last season, two seasons ago, when he mysteriously in the offseason lost like 30 pounds of muscle mass and didn't look the same and didn't play the same. Paleo, like paleo diet. Off. Paleo diet. And paleo diet. Brolic and... LeBron's biggest critic Skip Bayless coded his alleged PED use as vibranium. All while UFC fighter Chael Sonnen openly spoke about the allegations and said that he and LeBron had the same drug guy. Take a look. If the world understood what LeBron did, like other basketball players will hear what LeBron does and go, well, well, yeah, but that doesn't matter, right? You're, it's like a baseball player, you're hitting a stick out of the way, it doesn't matter. It's like, no, 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 if you knew what these performance answers did, then you would know why it does matter. What you do know, you think there's, he's there's doing? There's only one, we have, we have the same drug guy, if you will, I know exactly what he's doing. But there's only one golfer. Please tell. There's only one golfer, I'm not going to, but there's, there's only one golfer that follows the big three. And the big three is EPO, growth hormone, testosterone. That's the Lance Armstrong diet. There's one golfer, but it's Tiger Woods. Like, yes, it does matter. People will say it all the time, it doesn't matter, John Daly won it. It's like, it, it matters, trust me that it matters. EPO matters, it's the reason LeBron takes it. It matters. Hmm. And if other basketballs what understood what it do? did, EPO increases your red blood cells which gives you endurance so you can play all game long. You can shoot in the fourth more quarter red just like you shot the fourth in your red yes. blood cells. Okay, yes. gotcha, gotcha. It, it, It's the king of performance enhancers. After those allegations took place, all conversations around LeBron James and PED use went quiet. Until a federal investigation took place in September of 2023. While this investigation cleared LeBron of any wrongdoing, it found that his longtime friend and business associate, Randy Mims, had been dealing PEDs along with his former personal trainer, David Alexander, who had been working with LeBron in his 10 years in Cleveland and Miami. This investigation included other athletes, along with WWE wrestler Paul The Big Show White. ESPN reached out to LeBron's camp and Randy Mims directly, and both declined to comment. So there you have it. There's the evidence surrounding LeBron James and the use of PEDs. What do you guys think? Is LeBron on the new juice? If he is, how damaging do you think it'd be for his career? Do you guys even care? And don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more NBA content just like this. And I will see you in the next upload.